So this is how the mic sounds without any of these filters. And once you turn them on, this is how it sounds like. Okay, if you're looking to get this kind of quality on your Red Gear Cosmo 7.1 headset, stay on to find out because I'm gonna give you simple settings you can apply on your OBS in less than 10 minutes. Let's hop in. Okay, so as you can see here, if I right click on my headset mic and go into filters, you can see it's right now empty. Okay, and here's where we're going to add all of these filters to make our mic sound great. Now, the first thing we're going to do is add a noise suppression filter. This is to make sure that your surrounding noise does not get captured in the mic, especially if you're living in a noisy area or if there are children playing, you know, around you. So typically, OBS comes with two presets. One is the RNN noise, which is pretty good. And if you have an NVIDIA card, then you get the opportunity to actually download the NVIDIA SDK, which I will go in later in this video, and you can use that as well. But I actually like the RNN noise, which I find is amazing. And uh, you know, if you, if you want a noise suppression that's not heavy on your CPU, but still does a great job, you can go with Speaks. But for this purpose, I'm going to go with RNN noise. Choose what works best for you. Okay, so that's going to stop, ensure that there's no noise that's being picked up from the outside. And hopefully you can already hear that uh, kicking in. And the next filter we are going to be adding right now is an expander. Now what this expander does, and again, it's not required, but it's great to have. What an expander does is, you know, when you're sort of typing on your keyboard, you know, it doesn't pick up all of those things so that your, your streaming or your video recordings don't have your clickings and don't have your keystrokes from your keyboard. So that's typically what it's going to do. It's going to sort of remove those. It's only going to initiate the mic. It's going to trigger the mic when the sound is at a certain threshold, right? So when these noises come in, like your keyboard and your clicks, it's not loud enough for the headset mic to be triggered. So that's really what we're doing by applying the expander. So you can leave this uh, at this setting, it's fine. Um, you know, again, the moment you realize that you're, you're uh, starting and you're ending, the, 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 the sounds of your words at the beginning and the end are not being captured properly, you can always lower the threshold so that it's able to capture more of your audio. So I'm going to sort of leave it at, um, say, 49 or 50. And that's pretty good. And next what we're going to do is we're going to add a compressor and this what it does is if you notice on the on the mixer at the bottom you will see this bar that's going at you know that's actually hitting minus 10 minus 5 and 0 right now what happens is when you shout when you're excited when you bang the table this actually goes into the red zone and that might pop the you know, your, the eardrums of your people who are watching your video or your live streams, and you don't want that to happen. So whether you're speaking in a very low voice or whether you're shouting over the top of the voice, what a compressor is going to do is compress everything and make sure that the volume is equal and it's it's uh, easily something that people can hear. So that's something that, uh, that a compressor does. We're going to add that here. I typically like a ratio of, say, around four or three and a half because I feel that uh, my sort of uh, my words are captured much better when I put it at this ratio but you have to test it out for yourself and find out what works best for you uh, you know you can leave the rest of the settings the way it is here you don't have to worry about side chain and ducking let's move on to the next filter now what we are going to do is we are going to add what is called a gain a gain basically increases the volume of your mic but at the same time it's sort of uh, you know so if you if your volume is very low we can add a couple of decibels here i tend to sort of add three or four depending on how i like my audio to sound like but i would encourage you guys to experiment this to to see what works best for you all right the next filter we're going to add is a vst plugin and the plugin for this purpose i mean i have multiple plugins that i use but for this headset that when I use, I, I like the Marvel GEQ plugin and I'm going to leave a link to the to where you can download the Marvel GEQ plugin. So if you sort of Google uh, Marvel GEQ, uh, you should find this very first website that says Vox Engo, Marvel GEQ Lin Phase Graphic Equalizer. So go in and click on this link that says 
uh, download VST, VST3 for Windows. So once you click this, it's going to download it. It's a setup file. So run that setup and it's going to show up in the OBS. If it doesn't show up in OBS, restart OBS and it should show up there. So once you have this plugin installed, open, click on open plugin interface and it's going to look like this. Now what's cool about this plugin is it comes with a bunch of presets that are built in. What I like the most uh, in the factory ROM are brighter and bassy. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to activate this and I really like the way this, you know, tones my voice. I, I enjoy this. Again, I encourage you to experiment with presence and the other settings that are there. I personally like this and I think it sounds great on a headset mic. Right now we have all of these filters that are on the uh, on the headset mic now what you'll notice is we don't want this bar thankfully right now it's uh you know not that high but you will notice sometimes when i do stuff this might go into the red zone like it's almost hit minus five here and we don't want that to happen we want it to stay in the green band uh in the yellow band sorry which is around which is between minus six to minus ten which is sort of easy for people to hear and they can adjust the volume if they want on their PC. So what we are going to do is we are going to add a limiter. And I typically like to keep this at the default setting, which is minus 6 dB. And I think it works great. Now, for those of you with an NVIDIA card, and I know I mentioned this earlier in the video, NVIDIA has a very cool software called the NVIDIA Broadcast or the NVIDIA SDK. So you can go uh, again. So if you, if you want the uh, NVIDIA Broadcast, you can just go in and Google that. It'll take you to the NVIDIA website where you can download the NVIDIA broadcast software. Now, once you download this, the program is going to look like how it is on the right. And when you install this, it's going to come with features that allow you to change the noise suppression algorithms that you can use. So we are using RNN noise right now. We can change that to the NVIDIA noise removal. There's a room eco removal and there's both combined. I think they work great. But I sort of want to use the RNN noise because, uh, you know, when, I, when you're capturing games, when you're live streaming games, you don't want the FPS drop to be higher. So I typically like to use the CPU here because it generally tends to stay idle. But again, guys, if you have a very uh, high end card like a 3080 Ti or a 3070, you know, go ahead and, uh, you know, try this out and see how that works for you from an audio perspective and from a performance perspective. So these are the filters you can add an obs to get a great sounding headset mic now let me know in the comments what you think about the quality of your mic and if you have any questions i'll do my best to answer hey again i'm not the expert on this topic guys i'm only sort of uh, curating the knowledge that i've gained from from the internet on how to make this red gear cosmo 7.1 headset sound great this should work for any headset that you're plugging into your pc and Although the mics are different on different headsets, you might want to try it out with different settings, especially on the compressor and especially on the expander. When you notice that your voice is is uh, muffled or your words are being cut off at the beginning and the end. All right. So thanks a lot for joining me in this video and I'll see you in the next one.